Hi everybody, welcome back to my Linux command line tutorial in which I'm explaining how to use Linux and Unix commands. Um, so this time I want to explain a little command that's called grep which is very helpful whenever you're searching for files that contain a specific term or pattern or something like that. Um, for example, when you're looking through log files and have to find a certain event or when you know you have saved the file somewhere with a, speci a specific uh, content but you don't know where it is. Um, let's start right away with a little file that I prepared um, which is called grep test. As you see I've put a few lines in there and um, with uh, some strings like for example bar in a few lines and foo in a few a few lines and one two four in a few lines um, somehow I skipped the three well it doesn't matter anyway um, grab now we can provide grep or we have to provide grep with a term that we're searching for like for example foo or let's say bar at first and then we can provide a file name or several file names in our case now grep test okay so what we see now here is that mm, the output are only lines in which the search term that we uh, specified, bar in this case, <coughs> is present. So what happens here? Grep goes through the text file, it assumes I it's text, so it goes through the file line for line and looks if in each line the search term um, is present and if it is then it prints this line, the entire line if it um, if it goes over a line that doesn't contain uh, the search term, then uh, this line doesn't get printed. So it it acts like a filter, you could say, and you can say which lines you want to see and which uh, should be filtered out. Now there are a few um, command command line switches that you can specify. The first one is the negation, so you can say grep dash v and that tells uh, grep to, to negate the result. So when I fire this now then we should see only lines in which bar does not occur. And indeed it filtered out all the lines that contain the word bar. Um, Okay, so that seems to be nice for when you're searching through large files, but the entire power um, becomes apparent when you're using a command line switch called R for recursive search. That means do not only search this file that I specify, but search an entire folder or the current folder you could say in the current folder by just specifying a dot. Um, yeah so what I've provided for this case as an example is a folder called grep folder and I have put some source code for a program in there not not too much stuff but just a few files and now imagine I, I know I have a file somewhere in there um, where I have written something down but I don't remember which file or where it was. So I specify the R for recursive search and then I specify the term that I want to search for, in this case app view, and then I specify the folder where to search like this. And then now it becomes interesting because we not only see the contents of the file 
but what we also see is now the file name that um, this search term has been found in. So grep provides us with the with the file name that we're um, that the t search term has been found in, and it provides us with uh, with the um, the line, the specific line where it occurs. So as we see, we have this file course CLJS, and our search term app view um, appears twice, once in this line and once in this line. Another thing you can specify for uh, grep, which is often convenient, is uh, the end flag that will even tell you the line number uh, it found the search term in. So that's often useful for when you go into that file or open it in your editor and then uh, want to find that line that you've uh, previously um, searched with grep. Okay, so I think that's that's it for a shot or no let let's before we end our session let's have another um example or an, uh, explain another flag you can specify the e flag several times when you want to search for um multiple expressions let's say for example we want to search for app view or we want we want to search for all lines in which either the term app view or the term def macro um, occurs. Uh, so we could can specify the E flag twice each time with the search search term we are interested in afterwards and then fire it. And now we see we have more lines as a result. We have even two files now. The core CLJS in which the app view occurs and the core macro CLJ in which the def macro search term appears. So that's very easy and um, very convenient to find content in files or let's say in text files basically. There are, um, you can also specify um, regular expressions but we'll come to that later um, in a session when we when when I'm going to explain um, how to handle regular expressions and how to build them to find more complex um, patterns in files. So that's the short introduction for grep and thanks for watching. <laughs>